Hey everyone, check this out. Oh, who's seen that before? This is a HP Pavilion uh, laptop, bit of an older one. Not sure the exact model, but yeah, look at that. That's. Oh, I think that might be a um, maybe not a panel fault, but a um, a possibly a backlight fault. We can see. I don't know if you can see the mouse. That sort of moves around there. Like the image itself looks really good. It's just the backlight keeps flickering. Not sure if it's a broken cable uh, from the motherboard to the screen, but I'm thinking a backlight driver fault uh, in this instance. What do we take apart first? Do we take the, the bottom off and have a look at the motherboard? Or do we just take the screen apart? Might have to take the bottom off to get the screen apart. Has that just gone time out? Yep. All right, let's rip into it. So here we have our LCD connector. Um, and I thought, okay, let's just have a look. We've got two fuses here, and we have another fuse up here. This fuse, being close to pin 1, I think usually pin 1 on the LCD connector carries the voltage for the backlight. Uh, these two I'm not entirely sure they are in the vicinity so let's just check those fuses so listen for the beep and we'll start with the bottom ones they're a dead short zero ohms zero ohms well that one's a bit odd 30 ohms now a fuse shouldn't be 30 ohms what would find is if we turn this on we'd have battery voltage on one side and because it's 30 ohms we would have a lot less voltage on the other side which means the panel will struggle to make backlight so we have the laptop on and our display is flickering and I will take a measurement on that fuse so on the input side we have 11.37 give or take and on the output side we have 8, 9 it's fluctuating so definitely a bad fuse even though it's not completely blown it's a high enough resistance to be causing a problem having a closer upper look that's what they look like so here's our fuses um, the one at the top is our bad one it's probably not failing due to an overload on the panel itself but I'm thinking it's fairly well directly connected to the battery so it probably should be fused uh, because if there was a let's say there's a, a pinch in the uh, harness where the wiring for the screen goes through the hinge and it's flexing a lot and now if that was to get um, pinched uh, and short out and there was no fuse there uh, it could dump a lot of power from the battery and uh, catch fire do something nasty uh, unfortunately I don't have another fuse the closest thing I've got to something that might be a fuse is something like a zero ohm resistor that I could steal off another board like this pretty sure we don't have a fault on our on our um, line itself I'm just going to do a resistance measurement from, uh, let's pick uh, ground, so the top of the screw there, there we are, ground, and we'll go to our fuse, and if I check in resistance mode, and I'm getting um, mega ohms, so there's no fault there that's that's causing the screen to flicker that's going to be a problem so what I'm going to do is jump the fuse with a let's put the little zero ohm resistor in because that's um it's so small that if there was a fault current it would just burn it out and it would act as a fuse I think and the extremely unlikely event that that would happen very unlikely event that that would happen so we shall flood that with solder until it falls off tweezers at the ready like 
so with all five of my spare hands just carefully remove everything out the way and still hang on to the solder eye and the tweezers and not lose the part <laughs> that's tiny <laughs> in comparison that is quite a lot smaller I think it would have no trouble passing standard operating current while burning up under fault current I wonder if I could pop this one off the board or do I just park it on top I'll be lazy and just park it on top How's that looking? I think that looks fine. We'll give it a clean up. Remind me in my next order of parts to get some of these little fuses. Well, let's test. All right, watching, uh, watching there for smoke as I plug in the battery and here we go it's on yeah, it looks okay turn on the laptop see what happens it's gonna power cycle a couple of times um, due to the battery being unplugged the BIOS needs to find itself so let's do that all right we'll turn it on Hey, it's fixed. No more flickering. That's awesome. What do we got? CMOS reset, enter, restart computer. Booting Windows. Perfect. Hey. Well, that was an easy one. Yeah, those fuses fail. Not as often as you might think. But that was the issue in this case. So... Maybe I should log in and check the brightness can adjust, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be solved. And we're in. Let's check our brightness. So we can go down, and we can go all the way up. No worries. That's good. We'll call that a fix. I can't see it being an issue in the future long term. If you like that, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more and tell me what you think. Was I wrong to use a zero ohm resistor of such a tiny physical size? Low power rating? Have you done that before? Got away with it. Maybe a proper calibrated wire would have done the job just as well. Anyhow, catch you next time.